Hi guys, hope you're safe and well. I'm going to take you through some exercises today with regards to what you can do at home. I'm going to give you different um, difficulties, levels of difficulty, and several different pieces of equipment that you can use. So I'm going to be using a kettlebell because uh, I've got one readily available. If you've not got one readily available, you can just fill up a milk um, carton or you can just fill up any kind of plastic container with water and it will give you some weight. If you don't want to do it with that, absolutely fine. You can just do it um, body weight exercises. So first exercise I'm going to give you is squats. These ones specifically are goblet squats. So what differs these from normal squats is that we hold the kettlebell or we hold whatever is out in front of us so that we're having a little bit of weight on um, the core as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to do three sets of 10. I'm only going to show you one set and I will do the other sets later because this will give you an idea as to the standard that I'm after and what other things that you can do as well. So first off, we hold it in front of us. We need to be going down to 90 degrees and then back up again. If you can't get to 90 degrees, that doesn't matter. Just go down as far as you can. Remember, you need to bend at the hips as well as the knees and the ankles. This is called the triple extension. This works the quadriceps, the hamstrings, the gastrocnemius, as well as the core muscles. So, first set of 10, here we go. So that's one set of 10. I would advise doing two minutes between each set in order to give you a little bit of a rest and allow your muscles to recuperate as well. So if you're not going to do it with that, if you're going to do it without a kettlebell, all you need to do is put your arms out in front and squat down. Again, trying to get that 90 degrees. So that's the first exercise. Remember three sets of 10 with two minute rest in between. Second exercise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I was going to do lunges, I'm not going to do lunges because that's going to be two leg exercises in a row and as my year 10 leaders will know, when they did their circuits, I didn't particularly like it if they did the same exercise in the same one. So, next exercise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a carpet and we're going to be doing some sit-ups. So, now we're going to be doing sit-ups, this works the abdominals. So when we do sit-ups, what we do is we have our legs bent, feet on the floor at all times, I would like you to have your hands on either side of your temple or across your chest. I don't want you to have your hands behind your head because if you pull up, you can injure yourself and your neck muscles. So you're going to do three sets of 10 again. All exercises today are going to do three sets of 10 and you need to have two minutes rest in between. So. So that's three sets, uh, that's one set of 10. Again, I'm only gonna show you one due to the fact that the timing on the video. So next exercise, I'm gonna do lunges. I'm gonna do lunges, usually I do overhead lunges, but I feel like that might, feel like that might be too much. So when we do overhead lunges, I have my hand above my head and I do lunges because that works my abdominals and it works my uh, quadriceps, hamstrings, and gluteals, gluteals. So this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the kettlebell down at one side. I'm going to lunge all the way down the path, swap hands with my kettlebell, and then lunge back. I would like you to do that three times. Doesn't necessarily matter if you do three sets of ten. All I would like you to do is I would like you to set a certain distance and see if you can lunge that far and lunge back. So here we go. tries to keep you uh, keep balance as well so it works the obliques just down the sides there we go there's lunges right so now what we're going to do is we are going to do press-ups so with these press-ups I'm going to do a variation which is a press-up into a side plank you can do just normal press-ups you can just you can do just normal press-ups however uh, with the normal press-ups there are three different ones that you can do so first one being 
and then we'll press up. You can then go to um, straight position with your body, but on your knees, go down. This also loads the arms, or if you're particularly struggling with that, you can go 90 degrees and then press down. So three sets of 10 again. So the ones I'm going to be doing, I'll show you now. Again, don't forget you've got your two minute rest as well, okay? Right, next exercise. I call these supermans. These help, um, these help your back, your glutes, your arms, your legs. It's a nice exercise. It's not too challenging like with regards to cardiovascular rate. But we start on our hands and knees, okay? What we do is we lift one arm up and when we lift that arm up, we lift the opposite leg up. Okay, this works the posterior chain. Try and get as far up as you can. I would like you to do three sets of ten again, please. I've lost count. I think that's ten. Fantastic. So that's that exercise. Now we're going to do one more exercise. This one, um, you might have seen in Joe Wicks. I think he likes to call it truffle shuffle. However, this works, I like this exercise, it's a nice, um, I call it low impact because you're not really stomping your feet too much, but when we are doing it, you need to be reaching down to the floor and we side lunge out. Let me just get this so that it works. So hopefully this will work, okay? So, what I would like you to do is I would like you to count 20, because everything else has been three sets of 10. I would like you to count 20 because you're going to do 10 each side. So you're going to do three sets of these again, and then we'll move on to our cool down. So. So that's 20, fantastic. So now we're going to move on to our cool down. With regards to our cool down, what we're going to do is we're going to try and bring the heart rate down slowly using, um, I'm going to start jogging, then I'm going to go to a slow, a slow jog, and then I'm going to go to a march, and then I'm going to take you through your static uh, stretches. So what we're going to do is we're going to start jogging. Okay, so now we're going to go down to a nice slow jog. And now we're going to go down to a march. Okay. Because this should bring the heart rate down slowly, making sure that the body has got enough time to pump the waste products out or around the system. Fantastic. So, now, remember the muscle song? So, biceps, triceps, quads, hamstrings, quads and hamstrings, biceps, triceps, quads and hamstrings, quads and hamstrings, gastronemias, deltoid, biceps, triceps, quads and hamstrings, quads and hamstrings. So, remember that, we're going to go through that. So, we're going to go biceps first. Arms out to the side. Make sure your thumbs are up. Eight to ten seconds. Sorry, the cat tried to come back in. <laughs> oh no. Okay, triceps. <laughs> Ill-timed. Fantastic. Biceps, triceps. Now we're going to do quadriceps. And hamstrings. Remember with the hamstring one, we're going to put our, we're going to put our feet, uh, leg out. Okay. 
Try not to lean on the straight leg because that can hyper your knee. If you're going to lean at all, go on your bent leg. Now we swap over. Fantastic. Now we're going to do gastronomius. We're going to go forwards. And now finally, Right, okay, so that has been your PE session with me. Hopefully I'll be doing a lot more of these and they might be a little bit difficult, a little bit more difficult, they might be a little bit um, easier. So if you've got any ideas of to exercises that you want to do, just send me an email and I can put them in a video for you. Um, and then if you've got any questions at all, just email your PE teacher and they'll be happy to help.